So, hello people, how you going? Let's zoom out and see what we got. So, I would like to know if anyone knows where these coins are from. So, tick tock, tick tock. If you guess, you can write it down below and tell me what you think of these coins. But these are actually coins of Morocco. So, up here we have Morocco, but if we have a look at um, this one, Durham, it has uh, Arabic, because uh, Arabic is the majority language. It's not the only language in Morocco. They actually do speak uh, some native, uh, what they call Berber languages, which is just native languages of North Africa before Arabic arrived. So as you can see, it's all in Arabic. So if you get one of these coins, You'll be going, oh, what country is this from? I don't know. Where is it from? So, from 1921 to 1960, uh, they used the franc. And these coins are actually different from the French franc. So, here we have. And Morocco has always been uh, either independent or a protectorate. So, that... So, I do not have the current series, which was issued in uh, 2011, and they have been minted every year. But all these coins are generally just maybe single or two or three year issues. The Sand Tim coins, which are these ones, uh, are generally just one year issues up until the 2011 issue. So... The franc coin was placed, replaced in 1960 with the Durham, so this is the Durham. But these franc coins were used in circulation up until 1974 when they were replaced with uh, the Santin coins. So for 14 years, under the Durham, Durham was equal to 100 francs. And then they changed it to one Durham equals 100 Santins. And the last one centim coin they issued in 1987, that was aluminium. So the value is about, probably about, I think about 10 francs to the Australian dollar. Let me have a look at the conversion. Um, and as you can see, oh, it's a one franc, that equals about 11 US cents. So... They do have a 10 Durham coin, which is the highest denomination. And the lowest these days is the 10 centim coin. So they got rid of the 1 and 5. So these coins generally, they used to have English, as you can, or French actually, because uh, Morocco used to be divided up into Spanish and French portions. The Spanish portion used to use just the peseta, no independent coins or banknotes. The Moroccan caution uh, side, which was ruled by the uh, Alawite dynasty, they issued their own coins. They've always issued their own coins. And then it's, uh, later on some banknotes. So here we have the coat of arms of um, Morocco. Now a lot of people look at this and they go, oh, that's a symbol of Satan. No, 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 it's not that. It's just a coat of arms of Morocco. And... Oh, um, that the coat of arms is here. This is part of the coat, coat of arms. It's a pentagram. And it's supposed to represent love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. But considering Morocco is an absolute monarchy, uh, freedom and justice is probably uh, a vague thing to get. And the date, 1371 is uh, the Arabic day and this coin is dated I believe it was 1951 in uh, the western dates but I have to go back oh 1952 yeah 1952 and it has a a mintage of 20 million coins and it's made of aluminium and bronze and this one is uh, 1951 so this one has the uh, Western and the Arabic date. And I believe this has a mintage of uh, 30 million coins. Uh, I'm looking at numerous 
as I am trying to do this. So, 51. Yep, 30 million coins. And there's the, the pentagram. And it has a uh, Moroc Empire, Moroc Chefrins in Arabic and French. So, it's a one franc coin from France, and as you can see, they're actually different sizes. So, there you go. So, we have the 10 centimes from 1974, and this one has a sunflower sun rays on it, and as you can see here, the sunflower is facing the sun. And this has a mintage of uh, 67 million 950,000, so it's a pretty common coin. And we have the date in uh, Western Arabic, and on the obverse is just the coat of arms. And here is the another 10 centimes from 2002. So generally there have been coins minted in 1974, 87, 2002, and then the currency released from 2011. And this one was issued under Muhammad VI. And there is no mintage figure for this, but it has people um, committed in sports activity, so there's some, looks like some uh, buildings in the background, might be mosques, and there is someone on a track and field. That's just my interpretation, I, it's fine and a bit hard to find information on this coin. And on this side has the coat of arms as well. So, the 20 just as the coat of arms, it's milled. And on this side, we have a portrait of of Hassan II, and he reigned from um, 1961 to 1999. That's the year that he died. And this this family has actually ruled Morocco since 1666. And if you know that date, that's also the year of the Great Fire of London, which has no real connection apart from the date with this coin. Morocco or this video and then we have the one dirhams so the one dirham was actually issued in 1960 to replace the 100 franc and that was under Muhammad the fifth and this coin was first issued that I have here in 1965 and then there was 1969 so this 65 is 30 million and then there was a 68 with 5 million and a 69 with 17.2 uh, million so as you can see this coin is actually not really that circulated and it has two mint marks which it looks like uh, a mint marks from France so it looks like there's a bird and not too sure what that is might be that might be now I'm not too sure what that is they look very similar to France and I'm I'm guessing that they're actually minted in France. Then if we turn over here, we have a portrait of uh, Hassan II. So then we have the 5 franc, uh, not 5 franc, 5 dirhams. So the 5 dirhams was actually issued in 1965 as a silver coin. And this is a 1980 version, which is copper nickel. Uh, has a mintage of 10 million coins and as you can see it, this one is quite worn and it's also milled as well and on the back it has a portrait of King Hassan II again then I have the five dirhams so this one has the pentagram up top it has the dates and this is the denomination and as you can see, it is a bimetal coin, so the 5 and 10 are bimetal coins. And the 5 francs was first issued in 1987, so this coin here. And on the reverse, we just have Hassan II, it just says Kingdom of Morocco around it. And there is no mintage figures of this coin, but as there is no mint mark, I'm going to say that this coin is actually minted in Italy based on the connections between the two metals. 
So the middle metal is actually aluminium bronze and it has a stainless steel ring on the outside. So you can pretty much tell the difference between this is copper and nickel and stainless steel. This one looks more s s silver colour and this one looks more of a whitish colour. So that's a, that's a difference really. And the silver generally uh, looks whitish colour so I don't know why they got silver for the silver colour. Very strange. This one has interrupted milling the same as the Italian coins. So if I actually done a comparison with the Italian five franc, no not five francs, five hundred lira, this is probably the same size. So I'm gonna get a five hundred lira and we'll find out. So I've got a five hundred lira. This was first issued in nineteen eighty two and it's the first uh, bimetal coin issued in uh, general circulation. So this is nineteen eighty six issue. And if we put them together, as I guess, they're actually pretty much the same. How about the milling? Uh, the milling looks a bit different. And the Italian coin is actually a lot thicker. But it's pretty much the same. So I'm just going to say that this is minted in Italy, based on that evidence. Uh, if anyone knows where exactly it was minted, or if I've... If it was minted in Italy... Just to confirm it. Where it's minted somewhere else, then um, I'd like to know. So those are my coins from Morocco. I'm trying to get more, but it seems it's a bit hard to get coins for good value. People think the Moroccan coins are more valuable than what they are. But as there's so many coins minted of all these, they really have no value apart from uh, one or two dollars each. If you want to get more expensive coins, then you have to go to the previous coinage series that was issued, which is uh, the Moroccan Real. And those coins are a lot harder to get, and uh, collectors are willing to pay more money for them. So anyway, I'd like to say thank you for watching my video. I collect Moroccan coins. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, check out my links below, and I uh, have awesome coin collecting time, people. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.